Ever wondered what the air around you really looks like? Impact Lecture Theatre's CO2 levels can quietly rise, impacting concentration, energy, and overall well-being. But because air is invisible, we rarely think about it. Until now. The project brings CO2 to life by using an array of sensors to map its distribution in a lecture theatre. Instead of just crunching numbers, we take it a step further, transforming the data into an immersive virtual reality experience. CO2 is a particularly relevant metric, especially for tracking the spread of diseases such as COVID-19. We collated the raw data being streamed from the sensors and applied filtering techniques such as carbon and particle filtering to get a deep insight into overall trends, especially in the context of seating locations in the lecture theatre. We decided to use balloons as an intuitive visualisation for the distribution of CO2. The density of balloons correlates precisely to the density of CO2 and gives users a clear overview of the way in which gas behaves in a large and uniquely shaped space such as the lecture theatre. It also confirmed the theories that we encountered during our research. At the back, there are more CO2 intense areas because there is something called a stratification layer. This is when all the CO2 accumulates at the layer between the top and bottom of the room. And as the back of the room has some sensors in the stratification layer, there's more CO2 detected. But we didn't stop there. If you look above us, the lecture theatre is also equipped with cameras. But don't panic, the cameras process the data in real time without storing it, so your privacy is conserved. We've taken the data and were able to analyse occupancy across different times and lectures, and even estimated the engagement of individual students. We were able to bring this into our VR world and create realistic depictions of the seating location of students. But we didn't stop there either. For this to become a useful tool that will help provide decision makers with future insight, we categorized areas of the map of the lecture theatre by danger zones, derived from insights of CO2 buildup and occupancy. In the VR world, we represented this concept by changing the colour of the balloons, providing a distinctive and representative visualisation that could be used to both warn and inform. 